Apple is among the most popular food products or flavors in the Canadian diet, after maple and kindness, of course. The total global apple production lies somewhere around 58 million metric tons, with Canada contributing about a million metric tons, of which 20% is produced in Quebec. Large quantities of liquid and solid wastes are generated during the pressing of these apple products. This waste is called pumice. Apple pumice is the main waste byproduct of apple juice or cider producing industries. Typically, apple pressing generates 30 to 40 percent apple pumice and 5 to 11 percent liquid waste, also referred to as sludge. The pumice consists of 76 percent moisture and 24 percent solid. The organic solid waste is composed of flesh, seeds, and stem. This high nutrient and sugar content gives the pumice a high potential value with many valuable applications. However, unfortunately, this high organic nutrient content also means that it is highly biodegradable, and the improper disposal of apple pumice in landfills or incinerators represents a serious environmental problem. Degradation caused by the anaerobic conditions in landfills causes the release of methane, and the high energy demand of incinerators causes excessive CO2 release. Both methane and CO2 are potent greenhouse gases and contribute to global warming. Further, both landfilling and incineration are very expensive waste disposal methods. Due to increasing waste flows, tipping fees, or costs for putting waste into landfills, especially in the Montreal area, costs per ton are well over $45. And because of the high energy demands in incinerators, their operational costs can be astronomical as well. For both environmental and economical reasons, innovative alternatives have to be made for the disposal of apple pumice. Animal feed has been explored as a possible outlet for the pumice. However, it only covers 20% of the total waste volume. There is still 80% or well over 800,000 tons of waste to be properly disposed of. Other possible options to be explored include the conversion to apple flour, alcohol, cider kin, composting, mulch, pectin, meat flavors, mushroom production or other biotechnological applications, biogas, biochar, or even water purification can be explored. Whatever disposal method you choose, it's going to be a hell of a lot better than whatever we got now. <laughs>